I think Julian's a, a, a great plus for many reasons. One is his experience and undoubted commitment. I mean, Julian does love to know what's going on. He, he won't let anything go unless he feels it's right. Julian literally does, uh, does all the jobs. Directed, he's written, he's uh, edited, he's uh, filmed, uh, been the DP, he's um, you know, done the special effects, he's done second unit. Uh, there's nothing he hasn't and can't do. Uh, in fact, Julian's done practically anything from Kate Bush videos to Time Bandits in Brazil. Well, Julian's got a lot of versatility. Julian is capable of doing some really scary stuff. There you go, scary stuff. There we are. <laughs> so there are some rather nice, uh, warm-hearted um, uh, thumbs up for Julian and his, his career and contributions. So we have a lot of ground to cover um, and some very specific things to talk about within that with you, Julian. Um, so we, we heard there, obviously, some, some comments and recollections from um, some of the Pythons, particularly about the work they've done with Julian and your work with them uh, on a number of, of projects and, and films of some note, actually, just to state the obvious. Um, but perhaps just to really get the ball rolling, Julian, very obviously and simply, which is really just to perhaps invite you just to give us a little bit of a flavor for how you got into working with the Pythons particularly? Yeah, I mean, first of all, we're just to the difference between mm, of course. my scene and, yeah. um, as I've written books and I've worked in film, I uh, often get asked about uh, the difference. And the difference is total. It's, a, it's very different. As we're talking literature here in this festival, I uh, should it p try and point out the difference in the different language between film and, and, uh, and writing. Now, uh, this is a, a, a script, uh, a scene from a film, um, and it's literature, right? Now, you may think it's pretty obvious that what's the difference between film and film. Just watch the screen, okay? If you lower the lights a bit. Imprecise. Watch the screen. Did you see something? Yes. Yeah. That's Dr. Bedell. Watch. Um. Dr. Bedell, you now know what the sort of clothes he's wearing, a little bit about him. There is nothing in the literature that does that. And you've only seen less than a second of it. Um. Do you like him? <laughs> I mean, already, already, we're making a judgment of a person we have only made a, uh, seen a second of. That's literature. This is film. We're in trouble, boys, because you give away everything every single second. I don't know all the... No. Uh, do you like him? Yeah, not sure. Okay, now, uh, I have cast him. Uh, He's experimented uh, on uh, concentration camp questions. Addicts taking designer drugs have, of their own volition, placed themselves in the same position. Two of our patients have induced in themselves a form of permanent catatonia. What? You mean they're gone completely? The costume department of... Uh, we can uh, uh, wait by using a drug we call Eldo, but it has some unfortunate side effects. Patients tend to hallucinate. I've come in close to I'm the woman patient once who went under when she was only close. I broke around by using a little bit When you read something, you read dialogue as fast as you can. You just think. <laughs> He's delivering it slower to create an air of mystery. She thought it was the morning after she went to sleep. In her head, she was still. Okay, now. We're going to cut to scene 23. The interior Roman baths in Bath. Day. The father is listening to a lecture in the Roman baths in Bath. Now, I want you to all picture that cut from here, from this man speaking, to the father listening to the Roman baths in Bath. Okay. 12 years old. He couldn't get over the fact that 
because her parents had been dead for over 20 years. Much, much. What do you have? Ham or liver? 